Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, March 9th, 2020. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment in the NBA. Hey, if you have yet to try uh, the DocSports.com $60 free account, be sure to do it on Monday. You get a free 60 bucks that you can use on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. All you gotta do to get started, click on that link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. All right, we'll get to our free pick in a moment. First, a quick note, I wanna say thanks to those who jumped on board for our high-end sweep in college basketball this weekend. Cashed the seven-star on Saturday with Drexel. We cashed a six-star blowout winner with Colgate on Sunday. Write that team down, Colgate, and give them a look when we get to the big dance because they're going to give some favorite in that opening round a real run for their money, uh, I, I believe. So anyway, I want to say thanks to those who jumped on board. Uh, that sweep with our high-end plays, now five stars and higher, plays rated five stars and higher, are uh, seven and one, 88 percent the last eight, a little bit longer term, 13 and three, 81 percent with our last 16. I do have a six-star play, high-end play going on Monday night in college basketball, and we'll look to extend those runs to eight and one with our last nine to 14 and three with our last 17. You'll want to jump on board for that. That'll be available, uh, the six-star college basketball play on Monday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Anytime after that, I'm also going to be involved in the NBA and the NHL. We got plays in both leagues. Those will be available at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Uh, but if there's only one play you're going to jump on board with, I mean, I think you should get all three, but the one play, definitely that six-star college basketball play on Monday as we look to stay red hot with our high-end plays. All right, let's get to our free pick for Monday. We turn to the NBA and we are going to back uh, the Charlotte Hornets on the road plus the points over the Atlanta Hawks. Now, real quick note, we did split this weekend in the NBA. Uh, we had uh, Golden State on Saturday. We came back on Sunday. I lost with the Boston Celtics. They blew a double-digit lead for us. Uh, but in this particular game, we've got a, an Atlanta team that's lost three in a row, both straight up and against the spread. Some of their players, including Trey Young, reportedly have been a little bit under the weather. Trey Young missed a game uh, recently due to having those flu symptoms. Uh, so they're not quite healthy as far as little flu bug going around, injuries, bumps and bruises. Meanwhile, you got the Charlotte Hornets who came off uh, a real nice night the other night, beating Houston 108 to 99. They're probably not going to make the postseason. They're probably not going to finish in the top eight in the Eastern Conference, but they're still playing like they feel they've got a legitimate shot to do so. And when you look at what Charlotte has done, of late. I mean, they've covered now, oh, six in a row, nine of their last 11. And of course, they're an underdog in each one of those games. The closest they came to being a favorite, they were a two point dog to the New York Knicks. Uh, that was back in late February. They won the game outright, actually. But again, six straight covers, nine of their last 11. I like the way this team's playing. I think they're catching the Hawks at the right time. So we're going to recommend the Charlotte Hornets plus the points on Monday over Atlanta. All right, that's going to do it for me for Monday. Go check out that six star college basketball play. It'll be available after 11.30 a.m. Eastern on Monday only at DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites of DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column right back here on Tuesday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.